Hi, in this little tutorial I'm gonna tell you how to describe uh, adder and a subtractor for two words or two inputs of four bits each one. So basically, as you can see, this is the basic, basic algorithm and what we have to do uh well with this software of lattice diamond we just have to use this library which is like i think the standard one and also ha we have to use this one the i triple e std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all and also almost the same just unsigned Okay, so we have to go first with the entity and I mean you can name it as you want it, it doesn't matter and we have to define two inputs. In this case we have A which is a vector of 4 bits and B which is also another vector of 4 bits. Also we have to define an like a middle input which in this case I named D and it is going to be just a standard logic um, thing in the program. So now, so we can have the values of 1 to 0 or all the 9 standard values in this case, other 9 values. So also we have the out, the output, which in this case I named Z, well Z. Uh, which is going to be a vector of 4 bits too. We are going to end the entity and we have to start with the architecture. Now you have to name it as you want it. Architecture, uh, in this case because I speak Spanish, uh, restador sumador, which means adder and subtractor of the entity is begin. Then we just have to describe the yeah we, we just have to describe the output in this case it's going to be z is going to be equal a minus b when d equals one so at this time we just are defining or we are just we are just describing the the behavior of the algorithm so uh, which means when d equals 1 a is b is going to be subtracted to a then if that doesn't happen which means that d is going to be equal 0 a is going to be added to b that's all the instructions that we need in this case also, you may see a uh, lot of like um, algorithms, like you have to define a full adder and then a half subtractor and all of that in, on the internet. But in this case, I think this is going to be the easiest way to truly understand what is going to go, what is going on with the software. So at the Finally, we just have to end the architecture, and that'll be all. Okay, now let's go ahead with the simulation. In this case, because we just have two inputs of four values each one, we just have to, like, put some values on it. Let's say, I don't know, the number two, right? In binary, of course. And we just have to define A and B. Okay. So yeah, I think it, it has to be like a, quite an easy one. And because the way that we define the D input means that when the value is zero, it is going to be an adder which means a is going to add b so c is going to be like a plus b right 
and at this time I am just adding 2 plus 2 which has to be 0 I'm sorry it has to be 4 right and let's go ahead yeah yeah that's that is perfect right like 2 plus 2 equals 4 now let's just go with another one okay let's say this number plus one. Oh, I forgot that okay and yeah let's just add them together okay now what, what we did here is that uh, I just added 6 plus 1 equals 7 right and the issue here is that we can just add up to 7 values together like the maximum amount that C can give us is going to be from minus 7 to 7 so if I add instead of 1 b is going I mean equals 2 it is not gonna give you the number oh yeah in this case it did okay maybe it's going to be oh so it is gonna be from 0 I'm sorry from minus 7 to Eight positive eight and yeah you see here as you can see we don't have the value of 10 right because you cannot uh, in this case we are using the complement 2 we cannot represent the number 10 on it okay now let's go with something a little bit simpler um, the subtraction with the subtraction part and we are just going to subtract like b minus uh, a minus b and for that d has to be equal 1 and we are just subtracting 4 minus 2 d is equal 1 d equals 1 and c is going to be 2 of course right yeah i mean i i'm doing this video because i found a lot of information like a lot of theory about the the um, adder subtractor but i mean it was a little bit confusing and yeah like pretty much hard to understand and i just found this way that you can use the logic operators of the software and it is going to be it is going to work as good as any other algorithm that you can find on the internet and yeah that's all